Hello my friends, this is Tanya and today I'm going to invite you to draw with me in Procreate. I'm going to create the um, Christmas elements set and I'm going to use these elements to create the seamless part. I'm starting with a rough sketch and as you see I have uh, the elements in different sizes from the bigger one and the tiny one. In this case I can fill the space of my pattern uh, and use the different size motifs. As for color palette, the usual colors that everybody like to use on Christmas is green and red, but I wanted to make something different, so I choose the green and the kind of um, gold, brown, like ochre. Um, the brown is like... how to explain? It's like um, the crafted, the, the color of the crafted paper, something like this. So as you see, I wrap my present boxes in in craft crafted paper, and also I have the dark blue color. So the main colors I made in dry brush ink, and then I'm making the simple shading with Bonobo chalk brush. And as you know from the previous videos. Um, the shading that I use in my clip art, if it's the simple objects, I like to make it with the bonobo chalk and I pick the darkest color than the base one and I put some shading from one side of the object and I took the lightest color and I put the texture from the other side where, for example, your light source is. So I really keep it simple. I love to keep my objects and make my objects so simple without any um, complicated volume and shading dimension. I'm just going to create elements that I'm going to use in the buttons. So you don't have to be so precise and put a lot of details, especially in the tiny one uh, elements. And I really like how the colors look on these elements. So I'm not going to show you my process of creating the seamless pattern in this video because I just wanted to show you my process of drawing elements. But I'm going to show you the final results of my pattern. And if you wonder how I make it, I will show you later. And the main key to create the elements for button is the size of the elements. They should be the big one, they should be like the few elements in the big size, and then the smaller one and the tiny one. In this case you can combine the elements easily in your pattern and you can fill the empty space with the tiny one uh, elements as I did. So this is my final work and I have my Christmas seamless pattern collection. And let's again, I just I just show you my brushes. For details I use CSB pencil brush. For the, the coloring I'm using dry ink. And for the texture and shading I'm using Bonobo Chuck. And all these three brushes are native brushes of Procreate. I have, this, I have these brushes in my illustration. Um, brush library because these brushes I often use so I just want to keep it mm, in the same section but you can find the 6B pencil in the sketching library uh, the dry ink let's see yeah here in the inking and bonobo chuck let me just um, refresh in my memory I forgot maybe it's artistic or no Bonobo Chuck painting. I could even not remember where is uh, Bonobo Chuck. Okay, drawing. I guess it's in the drawing. I know. And sketching. Yes, here it is. Bonobo Chuck. So you can find these brushes in Procreate easily or you can use your own brushes if you want. And this is my Christmas clip art for creating a seamless pattern and I hope you like it 
and thank you for watching if you want more videos like this just subscribe to the channel i will be glad to see you here thank you